Hi guys, welcome back. Today we'll talk about parking on an incline. I will show you how to position your bike safely so there is no risk of a tip over and I will give you a visual that will guide you for the rest of your riding years. We know that parking on a flat surface is really trivial. Inclines present more challenges and not only for short riders. So today we'll talk about finding the safe position to leave the bike. Here we are in the driveway with an incline. I measured the incline and we have six degrees here. I have drawn a circle with the arrow showing the uphill direction and separated it into four different sectors. The center of the circle represents where the rear wheel of your motorcycle can be. So you can stop your bike at any of 360 degrees. But you can park only if your bike's direction is inside of the green sectors and you cannot park if it's in the other two red sectors. And let's see why. If incline is directly in front of you and you do not observe inclines to the right or to the left, Parking there is practically almost parking on a straight uh, flat surface with the only difference that your front wheel is higher than your rear wheel. So let's see how it's done. You turn off the bike, you make sure it is in the first gear, put the kickstand down. For shorter riders you can put either leg down, left or right. You put it down, it's in the first gear, you let it go, you're good. Okay, let's try to park the bike now to the left from this ideal position and see what happens. The bike is in the first gear, I'm going to let it go. I'm positioning it with a tiptoe, <laughs> that's how much I'll reach here. And let's see what's happening with the kickstand. You see the difference to the ground, how much I have there. Well, the rule is not to do this, but we just turned a few degrees and I think I'm still safe to lower it. Yep, I'm, I'm still good. But I wouldn't go any lower than that. For all riders, dismounting is still recommended on the safer side, on the higher side. So now let's position the bike to the right from the ideal line. So what is happening here? We see that this is the heel is closer to the left side of the bike and meaning that it's closer to the kickstand. So let's see if we can put it down. I'm going to turn it off. First gear, I'm putting the kickstand down, turn the bike and it leans slightly to the left. So this is still safe. Is it ideal? It's still okay, but it's a little bit riskier compared to the ideal position going uphill. Now let's see what will happen if we try to increase this angle. Well, in this position I cannot even put the kickstand down. If we would find position a little bit between these two last points, you will find yourself sometimes putting the kickstand down and your bike being absolutely vertical. So don't leave a bike in those uh, situations because even wind or slight touch will tip it over. Now let's review the second green sector. The only difference in this case will be the fact that bike will want to continue rolling. You will be facing downhill. So always turn off the bike, leave it in the first gear and let it roll in the first gear until it completely stops. So we come to stop, turn off the bike, turn it off, it's in the first gear, let it roll until it completely stops and even for shorter riders you can put either foot down you put the kickstand down and we are good. It's not going anywhere. So let's take a look how the parking will look if we lean more toward the left side from the ideal line facing downhill. So in this case the left side is closer to me. Turn it 
it off, first gear, let it roll. And we are putting down kickstand, it's really close to the ground in this case, but it's still safe. The rest of the logic remains the same for the other side. The kickstand would be much further away from the ground and it would be really uh, getting risky really quickly. Parking downhill is trickier in general. I remeasured the incline in this specific section versus uphill section and this one has two degrees more. This is why the downhill green sector is much smaller. In the next video, we'll talk about the challenges that real life presents when you're looking for parking. So we'll talk about strategy for parking. So if you like this video, please share and like it so that more riders would be able to use it and be safer. Thank you for watching.